In the heart of the equatorial rainforests, the Kribi camp where unadopted trajectory struggles to link a coastal town to a tourist wild locality. We meander in this grassy, narrow and almost impassable rough terrain, a three-hour journey for a 75-kilometer stretch. Crisscrossing this canopy of trees, our view becomes uneven. We are headed north into the mouth of the Ntem River at the right bank. Now a part of this tree is only possible on foot. Just enough time for souvenir photographs, a selfie to set free. Damn, I'm so sexy. I'm so sexy right now. As the sun sets, the weather becomes turbulent. We are almost stuck here. Even a land cruiser can't cruise in ease. It sinks half a meter into this water. Apart from its tourism potential, Campo is the main border town for travel to Equatorial Guinea and also links to Kribi, the town hosting Central Africa's lone deep sea port. And this is its road. The road is my major worry. It's often said development follows localities within good road network. We're not asking for tired roads, not necessarily, but we ask for access. Let's maintain what we have. The percussions of this talking drum, the verdant greenery, and the clean breath suit their pain. At last, the team arrives. Campo. 